Hello everybody, this is Frony Toe Bobbin here, and welcome back to Euro Train Simulator. So, in the last episode, we completed more scenarios in the country of Spain, of course. That's, yeah, that's 10 scenarios completed. And that was enough to unlock tier number 2, which is Germany. Yeah. Uh, we will finish the scenarios in Spain eventually, but for today, we are moving along to German land. Yay. Uh, remember, this goes from Munich to Augsburg. So, hey, there's a route that I'm actually familiar with. That's the uh, Munich to Augsburg, which is a line that exists in... Uh, also, it's in Train Sim Classic and Train Sim World. Uh, well, here it is. Let's see how the Euro Train Sim version is then. Uh, so, of course, we'll have scenario number one. Most likely, we'll be driving some sort of IC train or something like that. I'm not too sure. But, jumping trains in Euro Train Simulator. So, let's do the first scenario of the day. Before we get on the rails, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. And here we are. Uh, driving an IC train. IC. So this is uh, Augsburg, I mean, not Augsburg, Maine. It actually doesn't look too bad, actually. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see how good it properly is as we get on the road here. Alright, so we're driving this. Yeah, look at that. It's driving something a bit different. Oh, it should drive. Oh, somewhere at the other one, but okay. Alrighty, then. Uh, also, I guess uh, one thing I should mention for this video. Uh, do apologize. Just... Okay, come on, slow down. I don't bother if you have any background noise. Uh, I'm recording this on the uh, July 4th, so if you're any uh, bang noises in the background, well, you know what that is. Fireworks, of course, and of course, amongst people who might be blasted to music, but yeah. So, better get this video done as quick as, as quick as possible before it really starts, but here we are then. Munich to Augsburg, so. Okay, well, this, the stations look, didn't look too bad, but. Mm, I don't know, actually. Oh, close it. Oh, no! Okay, <laughs> I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. But yeah, driving something a bit different. This is the uh, oh BR one four six locomotive. Wow, pulling I I see coaches a set of three coaches. Wait, it's the Island Flyer. Oh, why? Why am I beginning with a store train? Okay, now let's wait for the green signal, but. Oh, there we go. Green. Okay. So the next station, I believe, is right here, actually. All right, next up is Grosbenzel or something. I don't know. Oh, let's give it 60. Bleh. Okay, let me go down to 30. Uh, okay. This is always a bit tricky. And yeah, this is the only flaw I think we have in this game. There is no, like, realistic mode. Or anything, it's just this. Alright, here we are arriving at the station. I think this might... I think this is it, actually, but... Uh, we'll see. And... We're gonna stop the accuracy. A little bit late, but okay. And scenario completed. Alrighty. First another day complete already. Yeah, these... I think these... Earlier scenarios are shorter, then they get longer. So, yeah. Alright. Level 10. Not bad. Alright, scenario number 2 of the day has us driving a red train. So, hmm, the train that's most typical Germany. From Mehring to Augsburg. So, let's say we'll be driving on the other end of the line. Okay. Uh, our train's invisible. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's there. It's that way. <laughs> what the heck? That person felt kind of weird. So same coach set, but different locomotive. All right, this is the BR. Oh no, it's the same engine, just in a different livery, and it looks disgusting. Oh hey, there's that Russian train. Why are they on the local line? The Russian train is everywhere, isn't it? Spain. Here it is in Germany now. You know what's funny? There's no Russian routes in this game. In Yet that train just appears everywhere anyway. Hmm. I wonder if it's because of the, if the developer of this game is Russian, so maybe he's like, well, I'm not going to make a Russian route, but I will put a Russian train in. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's the twin decks. 
Yeah. Double decker train. Another red light. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, it's right the next stop anyway, so. Oh, I gotta stop. Slow down. Is this. Wait, is this Augsburg? No, wait, is this the other end of the line? This. This is. Um... You guys really tell me, but I think this is Augsburg. Um. Yeah. Also, the details on this engine isn't that great. Um, yeah, it could be better. Oh! Oh. Okay, nearly overran the buffers. That would have been interesting. Oh, this is Munich. Oh, no, we literally just went... We, did, <laughs> we literally just did the same route the other direction. What the heck? Okay. Hey, though, a lot of XP points, so... All right. Level 11. Yeah. All right, scenario number three. Hey, we're having the twin decks. Two stops as well. Alrighty. Uh, station is taking a ton of load. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? A two coke set? What? Oh, this is cursed. This is very cursed. Very cursed concept, but cool train though. So yeah, for those who don't know, this here is what is called the Twin Decks, which is basically like the uh, the German double stock coaches, except it's a EMU. It's powered. So pretty cool that's here in this game. Too bad this version here is uh, stupid looking. Well, no, the train stuff looks fine actually. It's just the consist. And by the way, the the second con the second coach doesn't even have a cab car, so we're just kind of just running aimlessly. Really been that hard to put like an actual twin dicks contest. Could have just been, you know, it could have just been three coaches, you know, uh, two power, you know, two two cabins, and then that coach in the middle. Uh, we're gonna stop in time. Okay, yes, we are. Mm, okay, good. Actually, the sooner I stop, the more time I have. Actually, so yeah. Okay, now I gotta wait for the green. Yay. Alrighty, Germany, Eurotrinsen, hurrah. Yay. Alright, come on, light. I mean, we got time, but still. These red lights in Eurotrinsen, I've noticed, they don't really. They're not, they're not red because of the train ahead, they're red because. game. Yeah, they're red because it's. it's and then if you overshoot the red light, uh, you lose points. Ironically, you don't then crash into another train, which, as we found out in a previous episode, man, I am doing a lot of speeding in this episode, aren't I? It's because the, uh, just the way the train drive in this game is so strange to me. Yeah. Well, here we are then. Arriving at this station. Ooh, sub XC was good. Oh, the two stop trainer, forgot. Okay. Yay. Late arrival. Oh, come on, I wasn't that far behind. Look at that. There's no cab at the other end. It looks so dumb. Yeah. At least the, uh,. I will say this though, at least the uh, the end of the car looks normal, as opposed to when we discovered last time. I think that the uh, that uh, the uh, the Siemens Valero Spanish train had the end of an Amfleet coach for some reason. Ooh, we get to go fast though. 150, yay! Oh, high speed zone begins. No kidding. It's even with a high-speed zone. Look at that. Even though this train isn't really designed to go fast, but hey, it's better than going slow. Okay, so the track layout here has absolutely no relation to this line in real life. But the scenery is somewhat accurate, at least. So, look at that. Max Total, first time we'll do that today in... 
Yeah, I love how the top speed of this train is the same as the speed limit. Oh, it's one on this one. As of what the heck is that? Cleaning yard. Uh. High speed zone ends. Wait, what? Wait. It, oh. Oh. Yeah, they weren't joking when the static speed zone ended, except they didn't tell me what the speed was until I got there. Thanks for that game. And there's red light coming up. Oh, but the station's coming as well, so. I like to go fast. Yeah, mama. Well, here we are then. About to arrive at the last station for the scenario. Cool train, but dumb consist. In fact, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been that hard, though, to do a proper cost. Come on. And stop! Oh, stop! Actually, was great, but a lot of time to spare this one. Oh, there's the Russian train again, of course. Hang on, that track goes to the building. What the heck? All right, got like people though. Yes. All right. Level. Oh, okay. Almost level twelve. Okay. All right. So now number four. Oh, here we go. We're driving the ICE. Yes. All righty. So I should driving four different trains in this video. So yeah, a lot of different trains to drive. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, driving the ICE. So yeah, we're driving the uh, the proper German version of this train. Oh, the horns even okay. Yeah, it's even that. Well, yeah, it's just the same model, but just reskinned into the ICE livery. Which makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we just go slow, but pretty simply we go fast. And we actually have a pretty lengthy cons. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coaches! Oh, almost 100% realistic! In real life, these uh, these uh, IC sets have eight coaches. Uh, this is actually the, yeah, this is the IC3 that we're driving right now. And yeah, it usually has eight coaches. Or, well, they're all eight coach sets. This one is seven, so I uh, really do because I did one more and it would have been realistic. We got a lot to go fast, so we might as well make the most of it. 100%? Okay. No kidding. This thing has a top speed of a. This thing, wait a minute. This thing has a lower top speed than the Twin Decks. Why? Yeah, that's not realistic. Okay, we gotta slow down. Oh, wait, no, Spino's still 100. Oh, wait, no, it's gonna go down again. Aha, but I slowed down this time. Wait, is he gonna tell me? 72. No kidding, I actually slowed down in time. Good job of me. Okay, we can go a bit faster though, come on. There we go. Alright, about to go to the next station. I have quite a lot of time to spare. Oh, we have a. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every time I see the red light, I assume, oh, we had to stop there. No, you, it's just the red light for the station. Oh, quick, quick, call the station at like. Yeah, very slow speed. Because of course we do. Where we are then? I believe this is the only stop of the day. For us. Oh, there's a burst on the track! Oi! That's supposed to be there. And... Here we are. All right. Yay. There we go. So level 12, I think. No penalties for that scenario as well. Look at that. I am just the greatest. All right. One more scenario. Uh, back in the uh, the white engine, the one that actually started, I believe. Yes, sir. All right. Back into a, a commuter train for two stops from Mamma -ma 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 to Augsburg. All right. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Look, like we were underground for a second there. That's nighttime. Yay. All right. So nighttime run to finish off the episode. I guess E. You're supposed to say D B, but I guess in this sort of alternate reality that we're in right now, the uh, the E U is in charge of the entire rail network. <laughs> Yeah, there's no Deutsche Bahn or Residency at Ferrave. No, the EU controls everything. <laughs> Imagine if that was a thing in real life. Hey, look, an ICE train. Look at that. We're actually got a train from this country. One thing I just realized about this uh, route, by the way. It has more variety of trains. Like the, uh, the Spanish one that we were driving with the first two episodes of this series. It was only the uh, the uh, the Valero and the Duckbill, yeah, the the Spanish Valero and the Spanish Duckbill, those ones. Uh, so all we had were high speed trains for Spain. Uh, as we're approaching a yellow for red, I think. Oh no, it's green. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it was just two high speed trains. Whereas here. We have the whole shebang. We have, well, of course, we have a high-speed train, but we also have a double-decker train, and we also have this. Why don't we have this in Spain? But, yeah. Oh, high-speed zone ends. Okay. Oh, I see. What's in the little track? Okay, we are not slow. Slow down! Approaching uh, Grand Blablix. <laughs> Goodbye if I mess up any of the pronunciation. I can't speak. Okay. Oh, what the heck? You really wait till last minute to tell me that this means going to 30? Come on. And there's the Russian train again. Hmm. He's everywhere, isn't he? Uh, uh, Alright, reached uh, something. Alright. Alright. So 12,000 meters to the next station. That's uh, 1.2 kilometers. Yeah, I will admit the uh, metric system is easier to understand than the uh, imperial system, but I just use the imperial system because it's just what I'm used to. And, yep, that's the Russian guy again. I believe this is Augsburg. Oh, no, this is Munich. And, yeah, now the game's not telling me about the speed limits. Thanks for that game. Not like it really matters, though, because you do lose points, but uh, it's not that hard to unlock the next scenario in this game. Like, even if you're just a really bad train driver, like I am, uh, it's not that hard to unlock more scenarios than anything. All right, and here we are. Alrighty, well there it is, and the first five scenarios for tier number two, which is Germany, and uh, yeah, level thirteen. All right. So yeah, obviously in the next episode we'll complete the next five scenarios for Germany. Uh, but for now, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in whatever i make next